Okay, so let's just uh, tidy this up a little bit before we move on. Okay, so I'm going to select all the layers for the uh, end grain pieces, so from 34 all the way down to uh, 16, holding shift, and we'll do control E, all right, just to combine them, and you can always turn it off to make sure you get all the right pieces. All right, and I'm just going to zoom in down here for a sec. And it didn't look too bad on the actual model, but we did lose, you know, some detail. It got kind of blurry when we scaled them down, so I might just actually sharpen this layer and see if we can keep it a little more crisp. Okay, so we'll do uh, filter and sharpen. Okay, that's just going to make everything a little more crisp, and we might even want to do that on the wood. Okay, so I'm just going to select the wood layer, and we'll just do the same thing. Filter, sharpen. Okay. And let's uh, just name this while we're at it, this layer. We'll just call it uh, end grain, so we know what it is. All right, and let's save, and we'll check it out back in Max one last time before we move on. Okay, so you can see it's a little more crisp. Okay, so that doesn't look bad, um, and that's pretty much the worst part of it. Uh, doing the wood, that's the uh, slowest part, so we'll be able to, uh, you know, pick up the pace a little bit here. The dirt's going to take a little bit of time to do, but uh, after we get that done, the rest is going to be fairly quick. Okay, so yeah, we'll just move on here. All right, so let's just close up our end grain pictures. We don't need them, and we'll just open up uh, another map here that we can kind of use to dirty our wood up. Okay, so let's go out, and I have this dirt one here. I'm just going to open it up, and it's actually not dirt at all. Um, as you can see here, this is actually uh, lichen which is uh, kind of like a mossy stuff that you see growing on you know, trees and rocks and old wood, concrete, uh, all over the place. And it's just going to help break up our surface, give it a little more detail, and kind of hide the fact that we were reusing the same uh, wood texture over and over again on every piece. Okay. Plus, we're going to use it uh, with the multiply blend mode, which is going to darken it up, so we're kind of going to get the uh, dirty look um, as well from it. So kind of two for the price of one. All right, so let's just copy the whole thing, Control A and C. And we'll paste it on here, and it's going to be fairly big, so we'll just uh, move it up here to the uh, deck boards again. And we'll just go into Transform Mark, Control T, and I'm just going to take the uh, scale down a lot smaller. I don't want the, the white parts to be too big on the uh, boards. Alright, so we'll go down to about the width we need, hit Enter. Turn our guide back on, and we'll just zoom in here. Alright, I might just do maybe two of the boards at a time. Alright, so I'm just going to cover up the uh, first two deck boards there. Alright, maybe like that, and let's uh, just copy and paste it again. So control A, C, and V. Okay, and we'll just line it up with the uh, the next ones down. All right, just the uh, third one there. I'm just going to try to get the top of the image between them. Just zoom in here. Hopefully you can see this okay. Okay, so just place it a bit better, like that. And I might flip it around, so I'm going to go into transform again. And just rotate it maybe vertically. Just to change it up a bit. Alright, and we'll just go down and paste again. All right, let's move this one into place. All right. All right, control T, and let's flip this uh, horizontally, and maybe vertically as well. And you could use a completely different uh, map if you wanted to to do this. Um, you don't necessarily need to use this one. All right, so let's apply that, and then we'll just move down, paste one last time, and just fill in the uh, remaining two. All right, and we are going to put this on top of the uh, end grain and all the wood, but uh, I'm just going to do the deck boards, and then we'll check it out in Max and make sure it's going to work out for us. All right, let's just move this up a bit. All right, maybe there, and I'm just going to chop the top off. All right, so let's go and grab a selection. I'm just going to cut off the overlapping part again. All right, delete. Okay, so let's turn off our guide, and we'll uh, just zoom out here quickly. Alright, so we'll combine these uh, layers, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and hit Control e Alright, and let's just set the blending mode to multiply. Okay, and that's going to really darken it up, as you can see here. Um, and that's a little too intense, so let's take the opacity down to maybe like 50 or 60 percent. Alright, maybe around 63, 64, something like that should be fine. Okay, so it's definitely going to darken up the wood and make it look more dirty. Um, but just to be sure it's going to work, let's just save and we'll go back into Max and just take a look. Alright, so we'll see it up here. Okay, so it's quite a bit darker. I'm just going to change angles here quickly so you can actually see this. Turn it back in Active Shade. 
Okay, so yeah, you, you can see it just breaks up the surface a little more, makes it look a little more dirty and old. Okay, and I'm just going to get a bit closer. Let's check this out. And we'll do it on the ends as well, just so it blends these in, so they don't look, uh, you know, too clean. Okay, so that looks uh, decent, it should work fine, so we'll just save here quickly. And just go back and we'll add it to the rest of the uh, wood pieces as quick as possible. I'm just going to zoom in on the uh, ladder rungs here, and let's turn our UVs back on. And we'll just put it on these uh, pieces here. Alright, so we'll paste again, Control V. Alright, let's take the scale down a bit. Alright, maybe like that, and we'll hit enter, and then let's just uh, delete the rest of it. Alright, drag a selection around them. Control shift i and delete. Okay, and we will combine this all together on one layer when we're done. Okay, so paste again, and we'll just uh, redo this on these beam pieces. And these are the ones from under the deck here, so we don't have to be too precise. You're not really going to be able to see too much of them anyway. Alright, take the scale down a bit. And maybe like that. I don't want to go too drastically different between the uh, the two. Alright, so I'll just take it down like that, and then I'm going to recopy it. And paste it. Alright, just move down, cover up the second one. Alright, let's flip it around. Just maybe flip it vertical. Hit enter. And we'll go down. Alright, let's flip this one maybe horizontally. And it might flip it vertical as well. Okay, cover that up. And then we'll go down and just do the last one. Control V. And like the wood, you know, this isn't the fastest way to do a texture job. Um, you know, you could do it a lot quicker if you had a, a different uh, map that was really huge and you could just overlay the entire thing at once. Um, so yeah, that'll be up to you. If you want to change it up, you can. Okay, and enter. Alright, so let's just combine the last uh, four here. Alright, I'm just going to combine all of them here. Not the latter one. 7, 8, 9, 10. Control E. And let's just chop off the excess. Alright, sorry about the uh, stupid object dock thing popping up at the bottom there. I forgot to turn it off. Alright, just cut off that side and let's cut off the bottom too. Alright, delete. Get rid of it. Okay, and we'll just move on and do it on the ladder. Alright, paste again. Alright, so this one I might just uh, flip around a bit. I'm going to rotate it maybe 90 degrees, and let's flip it uh, vertical, and line up the bottom there, okay, I'm just going to scale this back up just to fit the uh, height, okay, and enter, and then we'll copy it, control AC and paste, and we'll just lay it on the, uh, the other post there. I'm just going to use a different piece of it. I'm going to flip it. Flip vertical. Alright, I would assume more of the stuff would grow closer to the ground. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm just going to keep it a little thicker on the bottom of them than the top. So let's move it over a bit. Alright, that's probably uh, cool right there, so we'll say enter. Alright, combine the two. 11 and 12. Control E and then we'll uh, just chop off what we don't need. Alright, so I'm just going to drag a selection around them. Alright, just like that. And I might make that a little bit bigger. Just to make sure I get everything. Okay, invert it, control shift i and delete. Alright, so let's go over and maybe do the uh, the corner posts next. Okay, so I'm actually going to go back to the original one here and just copy it again because it's a little bigger. Alright, our scaled down one is probably not going to be able to cover the whole post, so we'll just copy this and then go back and paste. 
Alright, we'll have to scale this way down. Alright, so control T again. Alright, I'm just gonna find the corner of it. Alright, scale it down. Holding shift. Alright, so for this one I might actually flip this uh, 90 degrees. Alright, I'm just gonna move it over kind of scale it down to the size of the uh, post, or the height of the post, I should say. Okay, maybe right there, and we'll say enter. Copy it again, control A, C, and paste. Alright, let's uh, drag this guy over here to the second one. Alright, line it up quickly. Alright, let's flip it around too. Alright, so I'm just going to flip it horizontally and just leave it like that. Alright, and we'll paste again for the third one. Alright, just use a random place on the uh, the map. Alright, I'm just going to flip this one uh, vertically. Alright, make sure it's all covered, and hit enter. And we'll just cut off the overlap here. Alright, delete. Paste again. Alright, go to the last one here. Alright, I'm just going to flip this one uh, horizontally, and let's do it vertically as well. And enter. So I'm just going to move this over to this part, and I'll just chop it off where it's overlapping the third one here. Alright, delete that out of there. Okay, so let's just zoom out for a sec. Alright, we're going to have to organize our layers a bit better, so let's just actually uh, select our layer 5, which is the original ones we tested, and I'm going to take that back to 100% opacity and we'll change it back to normal for now. Okay, and I'm going to combine these all uh, together. So let's just select 5 all the way up to 16. Do control E. Okay, then we'll set it back to multiply. Take the opacity down to uh, around 60. 65. Turn off our UVs and we'll just save and test it. See how those corner posts look. Okay, so let's change views again. Right, zoom out here a bit. All right, you can see the difference it's making. It's quite a bit darker. All right, so let's just do active shade. Okay, so yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, not bad at all. And we'll just continue on until we get all the wood covered, and then we'll uh, start adding the moss. All right, I think I'm going to finish pretty much the whole wooden part off first before we move on to the concrete or the actual metal for the tank. All right, so let's do a save here, just to uh, be safe. And we'll go back and just finish this off. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in on the uh, beam piece here that we didn't do and turn the EVs back on. Okay, and we'll paste again. All right, we'll just quickly cover this up. All right, as you can see, it's not going to fit. Okay, so I'm going to leave that beam for now and just see if this one will fit on our boards down here. Okay, it looks a little too small. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just delete this by hitting delete. Okay, and I'm going to go back to our original map here and just copy it again. Control C, and we'll paste it on. All right, Control T it, scale it down, holding shift. All right, I'm going to try to probably cover all three of these or four of these at a time, but uh, we'll see if uh, that's going to work. All right, so let's just get it into the corner here. Right, make it a little longer so we cover the whole length of the board. All right, just move it down a bit. I just don't want to have it uh, overlap in the uh, posts there. Okay, like that. Hit enter. And it looks like it'll be okay, so let's just copy it. Control A and C and paste. All right, now that we have it scaled, then we'll drag it down. line it up with the uh, second batch of them and we'll flip it around so let's flip it horizontal uh, vertical we might as well All right, actually I might flip this back vertically okay like I was saying before I would think that this kind of stuff would grow closer to the ground so I'm gonna keep it a little more dense on these lower ones because those are the ones that are close to the ground okay so just leave it like that hit enter and paste again All right, we'll go over here to the next bunch all right, let's actually trim this off over here before I forget. All right, we have it overlapping a bit. So I'm just going to go back to uh, layer 18. Okay, and we'll just drag a selection just to make sure we don't have anything uh, doubling up. 
Alright, just around this end one, because it's sticking out kind of weird. Okay, and delete. Get rid of it. Alright, then we'll move down. Select our layer 19. Alright, let's just position this a bit better. Alright, I'll zoom out a bit. I know I'm too close. Alright, get in here like this. Alright, and let's maybe just flip this one uh, horizontally. Alright, let's... Uh, I might flip this one vertically, just to change it up. Alright, I'm just going to move it down just slightly. Right, we have some room up here to spare at the top, so just pull it down. And again, I'm just trying to, you know, vary the detail on each piece as much as possible. It's hard when you're using the same, you know, image over and over again to get anything unique, but uh, we'll try to uh, vary it up as much as possible. Alright, so I'm just going to cut the part off that's overlapping the beam up here and the ladder. Alright, and again, if you hold down shift, you can add to the selection. Alright, and then we'll just uh, delete it off of there. And we'll go to the last set here and just paste it on. These guys, I might move it up a little bit for these ones. Okay, maybe just like that, and let's just chop off the uh, rest of it here that's overlapping our end grain. Okay, and delete. Alright, just make sure everything is covered up. Looks good. Okay, so we'll go down to the uh, end grain pieces here and just uh, stick it on here as well. Alright, so paste again. Alright, like I mentioned earlier, when I was uh, discussing the uh, way I organized UVs, these pieces down here are all the lower boards on the uh, tower. Okay, so I'm going to keep the dense part of this down here. Alright. So I don't think I'll flip it uh, vertically, but I might flip it horizontally. Right, just get it kind of lined up there. Alright, let's do Control T and just flip it horizontal. Alright, I'm just going to scale this down a little bit smaller. Right, just so it covers the width we need. Alright, hit enter. And then we'll chop off the top here where it's overlapping the deck boards. Delete it. And just paste one more time. Alright, we'll just try to cover these guys up as quickly as we can. Alright, I'm just going to use two random chunks of it. Okay, so I'm going to drag it over maybe like that. Alright, just so it's lined up in between the uh, UV islands. And then paste again. And just fill in the last uh, four there with a random part of the map. Alright, and let's just drag a selection around these guys. Alright, invert it, control shift I and delete. Okay, and then I'm just going to delete off the layer 22, the top. Delete that off, delete off the end. Okay, and we'll chop off the bottom as well. Okay. So we're pretty much uh, well covered here. We got one more piece over here, which I'm going to do. Alright, the last beam. Alright, so we'll paste one last time. Alright, again, we're a little small here, so we could try to tile this, but uh, we might as well just copy it again. So I'm just going to delete it and go back to the original one last time and copy it. Alright, Control C, Control V. Alright, and we'll just uh, scale it down. Alright, shift drag. Alright, I'm starting to get a slight bit of lag here. Um, and that's just again because it, you know it's a 4K map and I don't have a ton of RAM, so we'll see how it goes, and if we have to, we'll shrink it down to a 2K. If it gets really bad, but um, I'm gonna try to hold out for a 4K because I think it's gonna look a lot better. Alright, so we'll just uh, cover the whole thing up, hit enter. Okay, and I might just move this over a bit to vary the detail. All right, try to get some of that smaller detail on it. Alright, and then we'll just drag a, one last selection around that piece. Invert it, Control shift i and delete. Okay, so I think we're finally done the most tedious part of this, and that's doing this in the wood. Okay, so let's uh, zoom out. Uh, turn our UVs off here. Okay, so I'm going to go back down to layer 16. Alright, which is the stuff we have set to multiply, and I'm going to set that back to normal.
right, just because I'm going to combine the layers and we'll take the opacity back to 100%. Alright, so let's select all the dirt layers. Alright, 16 all the way to 23, and we'll just combine them onto one. Control E, and let's change it back to multiply one last time. And we'll take the opacity down to about 65 or so percent. Okay, and we'll just name this layer dirt, just so we know what it is. Okay, so let's do a save. Jump back over and just do one last check. Okay, and you can see now that it's on the uh, the ends of the boards, it really helps to blend the color together, and it actually looks like it's all the same texture. All right, so we'll just spin around, make sure everything's looking good. All right, I'm just gonna check out the front here with Active Shade again. So it's looking pretty good, I think. Um, we still have to add the uh, ambient occlusion map into our texture and then also the moss. And I think I'll do that next just to finally finish off all the wooden parts. And we'll move on and start doing something different, maybe the concrete uh, footings. Okay, and another thing I should probably mention that I just remembered is there can be a drastic difference between monitors. So what I mean is, like, uh, depending on you know your contrast ratio of your monitor, the brightness, the gamma, all that stuff is going to affect how the texture looks. So some of the things I do in Photoshop here or in Max might look completely wrong to you like the dirt here this could look you know insanely dark or way too bright so if that's the case and it just doesn't look right just uh, make adjustments to the opacity or the brightness until you get it the way you want because um, it's never gonna look the same on you know everybody's monitor there's always gonna be a difference based on whatever settings and specs the monitor has okay so I'm just judging it by where it looks right to me but if it if it looks like I'm totally uh, you know screwing it up just adjust for that okay so just keep that in mind and let's move on and we'll just do the moss here so I'm just gonna close the dirt map we don't need that we'll turn our UVs back on and then we'll just go out and open up our moss texture